And Richard Southern joins us now from the 680 News Business Center. Richard, if there was an investment in the last decade that turned $1 into $90,000, what is it? If only we had a time machine, <laughs> Melissa. If only, because that sounds amazing. <laughs> We'd go back. This is literally the top investment of the past 10 years. And would you believe it's Bitcoin, the digital currency? Yes, a dollar in Bitcoin on January 1st, 2010 would leave you with 90,000 today. And that's even with Bitcoin off its best levels. It's about 7,200 bucks US right now. It was above 20,000 US two years ago. It remains a very speculative investment, but you know, more and more retailers are accepting it as forms of payment. We see those ATMs that we're looking at as well. And some of the big investment banks are dealing with it now, adding some legitimacy to Bitcoin. You can't have the best without the worst. Some of the poorest performing stocks over the past 10 years include Kraft Heinz down 56%, Freeport McMoran, a big metals company down 68%, and Apache, which is an energy exploration company down 78%. So news we could have used 10 years ago, Melissa, but there it is today. Well, Richard, if I knew that, I would have got you a better Christmas gift. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I'm happy with whatever. I'll take whatever I can get, <laughs> Melissa. And well, Apple has a secret team that's working on some out of this world technology. It could be an eye satellite beaming uh, some information down to your iPhone before you know it. Apple reportedly has a secret team working on satellites to send data back down to terra firma. Bloomberg News says the company has been ramping up hiring on sat satellite technology that would beam internet service directly to iPhones, bypassing the wireless networks on the ground. It could also link devices together without a traditional network or help uh, vastly improve location tracking. Now, Bloomberg says it's not clear if Apple's going to put its own satellites into orbit or use some of the existing ones up there. This is kind of a trend. We're seeing Amazon and Elon Musk do this now, where they put satellites into orbit to give Internet access to those down below. Could be the next big thing. Hmm, interesting stuff. And there was a big Equifax data breach in 2017. And if you claimed the $125 as part of the global settlement, are you still getting it? Not much of it. And this is proof now that maybe we're in the wrong profession, Melissa. So here's the deal. Equifax, the credit union, had that big data breach in 2017. And because of it, there was a big class action lawsuit. A lot of people signed up on the promise that they get about 125 bucks. Well, the class action won a $380 million settlement. However, a Georgia federal judge yesterday awarded $77.5 million to the lawyers representing wow. the class action suit, leaving everyone else with about six or seven bucks each. That's it. Now, if you did spend money freezing your account because of this, you are entitled to get that back. Uh, this uh, credit hack affected $147 million. But uh, as is often the case, the uh, attorneys get uh, the big chunk of it first and uh, not much left for the, uh, the rest of us. Of course. And before you go, Richard, you've got a quick look at gas prices and some of the other stories they'll be bringing us later on. Gas going up a penny tonight for the weekend. Listen, stay tuned. We're back just after 6.30. Sometimes you get in maybe a family fight or two over the holidays. Amazon's Alexa device has something to break up the family row, and we're going to put it to the test after 6.30. Awesome. Can't wait to hear it. Thanks, Richard. Thanks.